So James was probably about three years old when I not just introduced him to finances and my budget, but to money in general. Um, back in 2015, I just became a new single mom. I was learning how to budget my own money working on a single income. My budget was extremely tight. Um, there were some weeks where I was even trying to figure out how to put food on the table. But as a mom, I had this internal struggle that there were many things that I wanted to do for my son. And I knew that there, the area in my budget just wasn't there to do some of those things. So I thought to myself, how could I accomplish these things or take actions on these things as a mom without completely you know, overhauling my budget or having to go out and get a second job? And I started giving my son my spare change. So at just three years old, he would get an allowance. Um, and he would do really small tasks. I'm talking like really simple tasks. It was good behavior, okay? If we didn't have any uncontrollable fits, um, things that he could grasp and understand. And I started out with 50 cents a week. If he was good and we did some of the tasks that I gave him, it was 50 cents a week. Over time, my son is now almost eight. He'll be eight in August. It, you know, I am still giving him allowance and a lot of the time it's still using my spare change. Um, his task and his chores have changed significantly um, since he was only three years old. But I knew just at an early age that my son couldn't grasp money decisions and how to manage money if he didn't have money of his own. Um, so it was really young, he was three years old. Besides giving my son allowance, I knew that one of the ways that children learn the most, and at three to eight years old where my son is now, they're a sponge. They soak up everything, whether you realize it or not. I decided to involve my son in my finances um, shortly after my divorce. It's where I started being really open and honest with him about not just mom's financial goals, but my day-to-day -day budgeting and financial management as well. So my son, he helps me color in my savings trackers. He was a big part of my debt payoff journey. He would help me color in my debt trackers. He would celebrate with me when I paid off a debt or when I paid off my credit cards. Um, here's the thing though, is that involving your children or teaching your children about money doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a conscious effort. We do and teach our children about good financial management skills by setting and being a good example ourselves. And that's why I say that, you know, the budget mom, yes, I'm a mom, but I also know that when I can teach another mom good financial skills and good financial management to make the best money decisions, it also affects their children. So not only do we change the lives of the mom, we then change the lives ultimately of their children. It's a generational change. So I knew that if I involved my son in what I was doing, and I'm talking about my day-to-day -day, uh, budgeting and financial tasks that I included in my own life, there was a lot that he was going to learn on his own from that. Uh, so that's why I decided to involve him. Yes, so just this last year, just before Christmas, my son, and one of the biggest things that I wanted to teach my son about money was the concept of saving. Because one of the hardest habits that I had to break as an adult was learning to become a patient spender. So learning the value of something, saving up for it, and then buying it, rather than the impulse buy and instant gratification of buying something. So. My son uses a cash envelope for his savings goals, just like I do. We put a little tracker on the back and for nine months, he saved for a Nintendo Switch. And at the nine months, he finally obtained his goal and it did a couple of things for him. One, it was really exciting because he got a Nintendo Switch. But the other thing is he learned the value of something. 
And not only that, because he values it so much more, because he had to work hard and save for it, he now takes care of his Nintendo Switch way more than he does any of his other toys. Um, he carries it around in his case, he protects it, and um, so I, I think that not only did he learn to be a patient spender, because there was many times where we would go to Walmart, we would go to the store, and he'd ask to buy something, and I said, sure, let's bring your piggy, back, pig, piggy bank money. And he would say, well, mom, well, then I can't get my Nintendo Switch. Trade-offs, right? Even at such a young age, he was realizing that spending money means trade-offs. If you spend the money now, you're giving something up in the future. And he learned the value of things. So it wasn't, for me, it just wasn't like a success of him saving for something. It meant a lot more things. So one of the questions I get from my readers is, should I give my, my child an allowance? And if I give them an allowance, what do I need to make them do to get that allowance? I think it's a very personal decision. I believe that unless your children have their own money and they can deal with that firsthand, it's really hard for them to grasp the money decisions that we want them to. Uh, so I think giving an allowance is important. But I also believe that how much you give your children is a personal decision. It's based on what you can realistically afford in your budget. Now, like I said, I started out with spare change. And in fact, that spare change is how ultimately my son learned the value of coins. It also taught him how to count coins. Um, so it taught him a lot of different things. Allowance doesn't mean that it has to be ginormous. It doesn't have to be a big amount, uh, especially if your children are young. I mean, four quarters seems like a lot at that time. Um, but I do think it should be something that you don't push yourself uh, to where you're breaking the bank or breaking your budget to accomplish it. It should be something that you can work into your budget realistically um, with, without going into debt, obviously. Um, and then I think that, you know, what should your children do to receive the allowance? I also think is another really personal decision do you give your children an allowance for doing homework when they should be doing that anyway? A lot of parents feel that they shouldn't give their, their children allowance for chores be, because they should be contributing to the family unit anyway. Um, for me, I'm a little bit different. I don't give my son money for homework. I give him money and allowance for anything he goes above and beyond. So he's making an extra conscious, conscious effort beyond just doing the homework. Maybe he reads an extra 30 minutes Maybe he writes a couple more pages. Maybe I see that he's really dived into one of his homework assignments and put in a lot of effort. I will reward him that way. I do give my son um, allowance for chores. Um, and, I, and that's just a personal decision. So that's kind of where I stand as far as should you give your kids allowance and what do they need to be doing to give them allowance.